Guys, so we finally made it. It's been like a week of driving. We're doing pretty good on the def and oil change, but we'll get to that later. Look where we finally got. Bam. Was thinking more of an extravagant entrance, but it still looks pretty cool to me. But let's get in here and get this tea bucket. Look at that. All these months, all these months, some good forklift driving though. Pick it up by hand. Yeah. Really? Like the frame and body? Yeah. Okay. Pretty stoked about that. Oh, it's cringe worthy. Tell me that's gonna clear, right? Uh, we're not two inches. Tell me it's good. Right tell me it's gonna clear. All right, guys. So before we really dive into the frame, Speedway gave us a shit ton of parts, and well. They really didn't tell me what goes where. The only thing they did was they gave me a manual and said, hey, thanks for purchasing, enjoy. So let's tear into the boxes and let's see what we got because I'm really excited. Let's start with some of the most obvious stuff that we have here. Everything has essentially a barcode on it, but nothing else. So it's gonna be your Vega steering box right there. Take a look at that. Now that's pretty sweet, brand new, looks good. So the next item we have here, I'm not really too sure what this is. Well, I do know that they assemble a lot of stuff before they send it out and then they repackage it. So that's going to be our, I think it's 47 through 58 Chevy spindles. That'll go right on the front there. So the left, right, right, left, whatever, as well as the hardware. So that's pretty cool. Now for the next box, it just sounds like a bunch of hardware. Yep, that's right, a bunch of nuts and bolts. Hopefully, we have enough. That's some pretty heavy duty shit right there. So that's pretty nice. And then right here, looks like we have our steering rods. So these are packaged together. It doesn't look like these were installed, but they're already pre-threaded and already done. So I'm pretty happy about that. Not really much work to do when it comes to these. So I can tell you this banana boat does not belong in here. I threw that in there. So what do we have here? Uh, cancer reproductive arm Chevy T bucket. Not really too sure what that is. Oh, it goes on the hubs or the spindles. So that's what your tie rods are gonna go to there. And then, what is this? Speedway. Oh, look at that, nice little brake pedal too. So hopefully there's a brake kit in here somewhere. And uh, that might actually be it. Let's see. Well, that's actually gonna be the brake master cylinder there. Take a look at that. That thing is massive, massive, massive. That's pretty cool. And this looks like just a random box of hardware. So look at that pedal mount. Oh, it's actually all labeled. Pedal mount, uh, pivot arm, wow. So hopefully all the right stuff is in here. I'm surprised Speedway actually brands, and they gave me the T-Bucket mount kit, which I didn't pay for, which is pretty cool. Um, don't tell Speedway. Actually, I may have, it might've been included in the kit. Steel sleeve bungs. And let's not forget that manual that they gave us here. So I'm not too sure if this is actually a step-by-step -step or just a, oh wow, look at that. That is pretty, pretty sweet. This is what I'm curious about here. And I think these might be our actual axles. Oh yeah. Take a look at that right there. These are heavy as shit too. And all the hardware is right on it, look at that. So I know this is the part you guys have all been actually more interested in. So let's take a look at the inside of the bucket. I was actually concerned that it was gonna be a lot smaller. I'm a pretty big guy, so I'll fit in here actually just fine. But all the holes are cut there in the steering rod. So everything is ready to go pretty much. Transmission hump is already installed. You can get these without 
but just pay the extra couple hundred bucks and get the four put in. This is a channeled body, so it sits over the frame and you get a little more overhang, which is pretty nice, more of a modern look to it. Now on the rear end, you can see that they actually already installed it, but they did not tighten everything down. So everything is pretty much in there and ready to go. It's almost like it's just short fitted together to show you how it's assembled. Now moving towards the front in here, it's all been assembled with the leaf spring, all the hardware's in it. I'm not sure if this kit was supposed to come with these. I guess it came with the shocks, but uh, their website's a little deceiving, not maliciously, but there's just so much going on. It's hard to tell what you're actually getting. Now, when you look at the welds, the welds are absolutely spot on. I'm very, very happy with that. Not quite machine weld, but that's pretty damn good. Very, very, very happy with that. Now, spinning around over here on the back side, you can see where they wire tied some hardware in here. Not too sure where this goes. We'll figure that out. Now, for the engine cradle itself, I had them put in a small block Chevy 350 cradle because I did not want to weld this in. It was an extra $250 to have this put in and the turbo 350 transmission mount put in as well. Now remember guys, before we actually get into this deep build, there are a lot of things that are still missing that if you are gonna build something like this, you will need to actually get fuel tank, sender, battery box, all that for that. There is a brake kit that you need that'll mount to that as well. Brake lines. You do need a motor, obviously. You'll need a transmission, and then you'll need your front brakes, brake lines, as well as your tires. It's pretty simple. For the inside, you'll just need your gauge cluster on however you're gonna set up, and they sell all this stuff together. Now, I put some teasers out for you guys on what I was actually gonna put in here. So this came out of a 69 Chevelle, and it's a small block 350, and it's the same mount that I chose to have Speedway put in. It's old, but it's been rebuilt and it'll run. And then an old transmission from a 69 Chevelle as well, three-speed turbo, which we'll get cleaned up and get in there. All right, guys, so that does it for the first episode drop on our tea bucket. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm super excited for this, so we'll start our build in the coming weeks, so stick around. Mm -hmm.